Hey guys, what's up? It's Space Jelly Reviews here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label DC vs. Vampires The Joker. So we'll start off with his height. He stands at. Okay. We're, ta we're going to talk about how hard he is to stand up. Seven and. A little under seven and a quarter inches to the top of his hair, so about seven inches to the top of his head for scaling purposes, which would make him around 18 or 17 and a half centimeters. So he's kind of tall. We're going to compare him to a few other figures. Um, let's start with the figure that I'm going to review after this one, or the review should come out around the time this review comes out or you can just fall whatever here he is next to batman batman is taller which i think is appropriate get closer to the microphone i'm gonna put him next to the hush batman of course they're using the same body so around the same size We're going to put him next to another spooky Batman. He's really, a really spooky Batman. Uh, a Batman who laughs, like, first appearance, I think. You can kind of see something with this figure particularly that I'll get into when I do the aesthetics. Bernie Sanders, he's kind of short for some reason. And this is my custom, or not necessarily custom, just customized Batman figure. He's a bit shorter. So, eh, scaling is kind of all over the place. I don't know about it. We're going to talk about, uh, let's just get accessories done with first because all he comes with is this his giant mallet now it looks kind of cool the sculpting detail is pretty nice it's a green person's face i don't know if it is the joker but whatever and yet and his nose is the handle so this is pretty cool but it's like solid pvc so when you try to pose him it's yeah, I don't know. He has a mallet swinging action or something. And it was really hard to get it in this hand, so... Eh, whatever. I'll just keep it in there. So, for the aesthetic... This figure has some pretty cool stuff. He... The shade of purple is pretty nice. But there is uh, no shading on it at all. I think that this figure really could have used a little bit of it because of the painted suit details. Ooh, I'll bring in his his box. I don't think he's supposed to have a collar exactly like that. Or as you can see the collar on his neck it's uh, going down. The lapel is eh, it's a little bit different on the artwork but I think it looks close enough. The face is actually a really close match. Except the teeth, I guess. But I think uh, we'll save the head for last. The hands are clawed and covered in blood. They look kind of cool. I wish they had more. he had more blood on him, though. Like all over his suit and stuff. They've done that before on the Mortal Kombat Joker. So I think they could have done that better. Maybe you can do a part swap with this one. Take off the head, take off the hands, and put it on that Joker. It might look pretty cool. He has his spats. They're nice and shiny, with the white part being a satin finish. So that's pretty cool. I like that. He does have some blood on his collar. He has the tie. He has a bit of a vest that's connected to his suit. Yeah, uh, he looks pretty cool. He also has buttons painted, which is something new. 
But, uh, okay, of course we're going to have to talk about the head. The head looks really, really good. Especially for McFarlane toys. He, uh, or they, I I'm pretty sure this is not just all McFarlane doing this. He did a really good job. He has some slight discoloration. He has bloodshot eyes. The eyes are glossy. Let me get it focused. The blood looks really nice. The teeth look decent, but I showed you the teeth are a little bit different on the artwork. He has this uh, Chelsea grin or smile thing. I think that he cut his cheeks to look like that. That's not just makeup. But yeah, he looks pretty good, and the hair looks really good too. As you can see, the hair has nice shading. It's a nice color and gives depth to it. Very nice detailing in the face. It's the best part about this figure. However, it's also one of the detractors because of I showed you how big the figure was in the scaling. And the head, it's okay for the scaling, but for how tall he is, his head is like freakishly large. I'll bring in this Batman again. He's bigger, he's even bigger, but his head is smaller. It's like half the size of the Joker's head. Which, I guess you can say the Joker's head is long, but probably shouldn't have been this, like, wide. If they just shrunk his head by, like, 10% or 20%, I think it would have been good. Or if they shrunk the figure down. But, yeah, it's using another Joker body, so... There's not really much I can say about it. You can see with this Batman, the head is really big on the Joker. Eh, whatever. People probably won't care about that. So I won't. Or I will. Yeah, I'll care about it. So, in terms of aesthetics, I'll give it like a... Hmm, an 8 out of 10. He looks... He looks good. There's not really much you can ask for except for some blood effects on his clothing. I think he really needed that. Maybe some shading on the purple, but that's whatever. 8 out of 10 on aesthetics. And for accessories, he only gets like a 2. He only he came with his card and a display stand, but um, this one mallet being heavy and making his arm loose is not my favorite. So, yeah. Gets a 2 out of 10 on accessories. For articulation, let's get into it. His giant head is on a double ball peg. Really nice nuanced posing that you need for the Joker. You need tilting. He doesn't really look up though. He looks down. He'll look really menacing. It looks very nice. Rotation. Shoulders go out. Okay, this shoulder is really loose. So is this one, but this one's holding the mallet, so I don't really know. Shoulder is really loose for some reason. His arm rotates. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and are also not completely hideous. So that's pretty cool. He has ball jointed wrists. They're not flesh toned, and they're not yellow either. They, I don't know why they chose purple. They could have made it yellow, but whatever. Now, for the torso, um, I have no idea. Let's try to move it. Uh, he rotates. There's something in there. It's probably like an internal skeleton thing. Uh, he kind of goes forward. Kind of goes back. I, I have no idea. And he rotates, so... I don't know. You're probably not going to do that anyways. His hips go up that far. It's not really that far. Go back pretty good. That's that's nice. The jacket is separate over here. That's interesting. The thigh swivel is barely there. He has oof double jointed knees. The knees are not the best looking. I don't know why they keep doing this thing where the knee is completely flat when 
there when any of his characters are wearing suit pants. And the ankles are kind of terrible. There's not really much you can do. This is a hard plastic piece, and the ankles just kind of wiggle around in there, so you'll be able to pose him just enough to stand him. He also has a toe joint. So, I don't know. The articulation is not very good on him. He has the points of articulation, and the head is pretty good, aside from looking up. But he does have standing problems, and he does have a limited torso, slightly limited legs, and the shoulders are loose. I'm going to have to give him a 5 on articulation. So, overall thoughts... This figure is lacking in a few places, and it does have things that I and there's things that I wish that were on the figure that are not there, I, which is why I think if you took the Mortal Kombat Joker and you swapped the hands and the head out, I think that'd be a better Joker. But this one is still, it's good. But like, if you want this Vampire Joker, it looks pretty good, and the Vampire Joker face doesn't really look like a. So much like a vampire joker, just like a crazy joker face. So you can use this head for any of them, and the head is really the... It's the biggest selling point for this figure. So, overall, I'd give it like a 7.5. The detailing, in terms of sculpting, is good. The blood paint that is on the figure looks good. The finishes are decent. But he's just missing some parts, like articulation and accessories so yeah thanks for watching anyways and uh thanks for liking commenting and subscribing i uh, make sure to check out the patreon and also check out our tipping option we could really we would really appreciate that if you're so inclined to donate to us so I, so we can buy more figures we will be selling or not selling we're going to be doing a free giveaway for this figure and another figure when we get to that video we'll uh, i'll announce it but we're going to be giving away this one in his box and everything don't worry so stay tuned if you want to enter a chance to win this figure or if you can't find it anywhere you'll get it for free if you win so yeah thanks for watching see ya